This is what we call, airline pilots call being a whore. I am currently in a situation that I like to call residentially fluid. I am in Tokyo, Germany, Honolulu, South Korea, Ecuador, Brazil, New Mexico City, Guam. I've been kind of going to various places around the world trying to find somewhere else to go live. And I get an email. Hey, there's a, a trip that needs to get covered. Commercial down to Santiago, Chile, meaning I just ride as a passenger on, on a flight with American and then 30 hours or so down there. Then I had to operate just one flight, Santiago to Los Angeles. That's called being a whore because that was easy. It was going to give me a place to stay because the airline pays for your hotels when you're out on the road. The problem is, is that uh, about 10 minutes ago, I realized the flight was delayed. Once a flight starts delaying, it can just cause all kinds of problems. I'm gonna look to see how late it's delayed. Now, the flight is leaving out tonight at 10 o'clock. All right, there's me, Santiago, Chile, 11.25. I had a suspicion this was gonna get out of control. It's just delayed a few hours right now, but if it keeps rolling, then it's gonna be really bad. You just see all these carts around here? If it were up to me, I would be drag racing those things through the airport. That's where we're going. There's an Admiral Club and there's Flagship. Since I'm flying business class, I can get food for free. The food there is actually better than a lot of the restaurants. I actually really like eating there. Time to go into the undercover mode. Pilot mode. Who wears a jacket in Miami in the middle of summer? Pilot, time they get free food. I went from pilot to guy wearing a white shirt. Such a great disguise. This is normally where I sit right here, in the corner. No one bothers me. Now you people when you come to Miami are gonna know all my secret hiding spots. Know where to find me. Chicken, mashed potatoes. Oh man. He's sorry whoever goes to the bathroom behind me today. You have to admit, that's pretty good looking food for free. I may or may not have eaten three of those plates that you saw. I'm also pretending to talk on my cell phone so that people walking by me don't think I'm an absolute lunatic. Nobody knows you. Both my flights have delayed. My flight down there has delayed. It was supposed to be leaving like now, and now it's not leaving till about midnight. My flight that I'm supposed to be operating was supposed to be in the morning, and now it's in the evening. So I thought I was going to have a cool, easy daytime flight. Now it's all happening in the middle of the night. Hopefully it doesn't delay more. Well. I'm hoping that it keeps delaying. Hopefully, it delays and lets me go the following day. I'll still have plenty of rest to do my next pattern. Plus, I get extra pay if it goes into the next day. And I get a flight in the daytime, so the lounge is about to close. So now I need to get out of here and go hang out at the gate. I'm like the last Mohican in here. The lounge, you saw what it was like when I came in. It was packed. Nobody over there. Nobody over here. This is not the exit. All right, let's get out of here. This kind of reminds me of walking around an airport. Like when COVID was on full blast, there was nobody. Imagine walking through you and three other pilots and just nobody in the entire airport. It was so weird. Now oh, there's the gate. Now I've got to quickly undisguise myself to be a pilot. A lot of pilots don't travel in uniform. I do. I find it just easier. I can move to the airport simpler. Santiago, Chile. That's 12.30. So it says we're boarding in like four minutes, but looks like that's the outbound crew. The crew would never hang out there. The plane was already here. I think we're gonna take another delay, but I guess we will see. I'm very sorry for the inconvenience. I had to attend where you could be part of the family. Uh, it's very long, we're still waiting for the aircraft to come. I'm not saying that I can predict the future, but if you travel with me, I'll be able to let you know Basically everything that's going to happen. He said that the plane's at the hangar and the mechanics are supposed to be bringing it over, but they haven't brought it over yet. It means they're probably trying to fix something that's necessary for the flight to go, which is a bad sign. That doesn't mean that it won't go. The pilots are still standing over there. Otherwise, they would be going somewhere else to hide. Because when the flight cancels, then it's a big problem. And if you're a crew member, you don't want to be staying there and have everybody asking you all the questions. Oh, it just get better and better. Now we're gonna get very tight. I just realized it's the weekend, which means I should be able to make it to breakfast if we leave on this scheduled time because we get there at nine in the morning. This is the last option. If this delays another hour, definitely breakfast is out, so. Well, there goes free breakfast. They still don't have a time on when we're getting out of here. Now I'm worried about if they cancel. This means I'll be 
out of the money and I just wasted the day. Captain just came over and talked to me. They time out at two in the morning. Right now the departure time is set for two in the morning. Here we are, one in the morning and uh, the drama continues. We got one hour, one hour to get all of these people, all of their bags, close the door and start to push. It can happen. Maintenance did call and say they were gonna bring the plane over. 60 minutes, start your clocks. Somebody said they saw the plane pulling up. 40 minutes right now to get everybody loaded. They still are standing up here on the jet bridge. I'm not really sure how this is gonna play out. There goes the pilots and the plane is there. I, I, it's kind of weird. Plane's here, flight attendants are here. We need a couple pilots. They just turned off the monitors. So now it's two in the morning. I can't really do anything. Oh, uh, yeah, no, they just said the flight's delayed till three o'clock tomorrow. Okay, yeah, now it's definitely done. Everyone's racing to get a hotel and meal vouchers. I called the, the travel desk, let them know. They're they're working on it for me right now. I'm gonna guess my hotel room's still available from the one I just came in on. I'm just gonna say like, I wanna check back into my room. They haven't cleaned it that I can just get in there and get right to sleep and then fly tomorrow afternoon. Be fine. It's all gonna work out, I think. We're just gonna call yesterday just a, a, a mulligan. Is that what you guys call it in golf when everything doesn't go as planned? Anyway, let's go make sure this flight goes on time. Okay, literally the same meal as yesterday. So I just walked over to the board to verify the flight was on time, and now it just says delayed. Doesn't have a time. So I looked in the app, and the app shows the flight not going at all. So I may not be going at all now. I don't really know what's going on. I guess we'll find out if I'm going or not. Right now the boarding's supposed to be like 15 minutes. We gotta move quick to get there so I can find out what's going on. Yesterday I walked over there. Today I'm feeling a little bit lazy. That is my plane right there, actually. There's not a bunch of maintenance guys up here, so I think we're off to a good start. Here's an airport hack. I usually hit the button to the elevator. If the elevator is right there, it's usually faster to just get on the elevator. If it's not, then take the escalator. There you go. Let's see if it's on here. Santiago, Santiago. All right, well here it's showing that it's going to three o'clock when it was scheduled. All right, we're about to find out what is going on. Well, it says it boards in eight minutes. I guess we're going somewhere. Fingers crossed. They wouldn't be boarding if they weren't going. We're planning to go. All right, we're on the plane. It's a good sign, it's a good start. I picked the backward facing seat. Um, I'm gonna get into my cruise relief hoodies. I kind of want to whisper this because I don't want someone to get freaked out, but uh, apparently there's a guy in the back of the plane who I think has committed some crimes because they brought him on in handcuffs. I'm sure there's not gonna be any, any stuff, but flight deck right up there. And it's a 787, which I can't fly, but I, I probably figured it out. Should be on the ground in a couple of minutes. Now, historically, I think I've commercialed in the Santiago four times. None of those times was the person there uh, to pick me up to take me to the hotel. I've always had to take a cab. The race has begun. That guy just said that they're outside waiting for me. If I got a handler, that's gonna make this way faster and easier for me. Hello, how are you? Como esta? Bien, okay. All right, I think we have to go all the way to the other end over there. Tip my steps in from the very far corner. It's like the endless journey, lots of walking, more than a mile to get out of this airport. Say hi to everybody. All right, buenas. Si, sí, claro. Yes, yes. Mucho gusto. 
<laughs> We've arrived. We're finally the car. Veronica here got me through so fast, so much faster than if I had to do it by myself. Why not? Come on, The lighting in this hotel room is a little bit strange, so this is the only way I can really sit without looking like I'm an ax murderer. Overall, pretty smooth. I have no idea if the flight that I'm leaving on is delayed. What's going on with the other pilot? I'll see how tomorrow goes. Well, I was hoping that was going to be a sudden rise, that the flight would be delayed and be able to get a good night's sleep. It's a three-pilot crew, 11-hour flight. Now we get into negotiations of who's doing what chores. Luckily, I'm the senior first officer on the flight, so I gotta decide what I'm gonna do. Well, I'm down here in the lobby now, I'm just gonna wait for the crew. This is Greg. Greg, a few hours ago, invited me to go have coffee with him, and then when I went down there to meet him for coffee, he wasn't there. <laughs> Going to the lounge and hanging out all by myself. It's not my fault, it's not my fault. Not my fault is what all say. <laughs> We got Veronica back. This is the line of everybody else that's flying out. I guess we're gonna go fly. Well, we made it on the plane. Captain's gonna do the flight because he's about to expire. So there's really not a lot more to do. Toilet check. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, keep the blue side up.